Hopefully that's not blasted your eardrums. I'm uh, I'm up here near the uh, Eildon Hills that overlook uh, Melrose, which is down in the valley down there. Um, so it was um, obviously a, a big night for supporters of the of the case. Well, for me it was night time. Uh, when we uh, had the uh, decision from uh, Mr. Judge Paul J. Riley of the District 2 of the Wisconsin Court of Appeals. Um, I think he put down seven very strict instructions that, that had to happen now in order to uh, hopefully uh, Judge Superwitch will realise and I can't help thinking that she is definitely one of those guilters that is convinced of uh, Stephen Avery's guilt and the fact that uh, the prosecution and law enforcement couldn't possibly have, uh, have got it wrong and are, are willing to, to, back, to back the uh, sheriff's departments in, in Calumet and uh, Manitowoc and the, and the district attorneys. In, in trying to perpetuate this wrongful conviction of uh, Stephen Brendan. <clears throat> but I, I, I certainly agree with uh, Eric Jose and Travis and uh, everybody else, Rubber Ducky, I was, I was watching her live uh, chat and uh, it's, all, it's all good stuff. The, all the supporters all coming together and uh, absolutely brilliant that uh, it was one of our own supporters that actually got in touch with Zell and, and pointed out about the bones and look at look at the effect of that now. <clears throat> She's talking about an avalanche of uh, of evidence that she can now present that even Judge Sukovic <laughs> cannot just uh, cast aside. Um, anyway, um, I know one guy that's particularly pleased about the fact that. Uh, uh, Kathleen Zellner is now looking, as he would call it, beyond Avery Road. Hopefully I'll be doing a chat with uh, our own very own Lord Voldemort, he who must not be named, <laughs> uh, shortly. Um, well, it's uh, quarter to six my time here. As you can see, it's just, just starting to get dark. Uh, I'll probably go live about 11 o'clock with Chad, which is 11 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. So um, if you live in Manitowoc, I believe your central time, you're six hours behind. So that'll be five o'clock in the evening with, uh, with Chad. And if you're unfortunate enough to live over there on the uh, west coast, then you're actually eight hours behind. So it'll only be three o'clock in the afternoon. So I suspect the dude will be busy working. Um, work is one of those, uh, I suppose, uh, unfortunate things that we have to do in between uh, trying to be supporters of Steve and Brendan. I'm going to have to go off and give a give a lesson down there in, uh, in Melrose. So uh, I'm going to say cheerio and we'll hopefully catch you later on. Bye for now.